on this vote, the yeas are 59 and the nays are 39. The bill as amended is passed. After the darkest days of the Depression, Franklin Roosevelt summoned the courage of the American people to stand up again and to believe in the future. But he also summoned the courage of Congress to pass important legislation to make certain that we would never go down that path again as a nation. It was an historic moment when that New Deal Congress addressed the causes of the Great Depression and passed the legislation which has carried us to this day. Tonight is another historic moment. It's an historic moment where this president summoned us in the House and the Senate to rise to this occasion again, to make certain that we learned the lessons of this recession and made the changes so that we wouldn't revisit the horrors that we've lived through. And so while we talk about these bills in the context of the Senate and Democrats and Republicans and who wins and who loses, almost as if we're an athletic contest, we can lose sight of what it really is designed to do. And that is to say to the people who lost those jobs, lost those homes, watched that retirement income evaporate, we never, ever, ever again want to see you go through this because your government failed to establish the rules, the regulations, and the safeguards that ought to protect you against those kind of behaviors that brought us to this point. And that's been the purpose of this legislation. What we've got here tonight is, uh, uh, I think, a very strong bill that brings back transparency, protects consumers, makes sure there's no future bailouts, but most importantly also allows America to continue to be the center for financial markets for the whole rest of the world. It is a clear definition of priorities and a clear definition of the vision of the future. We have a vision that this America will never have to face a recession again as we're going through now. And this bill will help insulate America from that sort of challenge in the future. I'm honored to be part of it. I, my hat's off to all of those who made this uh, a reality tonight. And we have work ahead of us, but it is a great victory for the American people and for Main Street.